guys. Welcome to Meatless Monday. I'm so glad that you're tuning in. I'm making a super simple dish today. Great appetizer, great for lunch or for dinner with a salad. It's basically, you know, a tomato bruschetta. And it's not really tomato season here, but I just got chills talking about tomatoes. Um, these are so beautiful, these heirloom tomatoes. So I just, I couldn't resist. And they're really plump and I can feel how heavy they are and juicy. So we're gonna just, we're gonna go for it, okay? So I have a panini press here and you can do this on a grill, you could do it in a pan, you could do it in a toaster, but I'm gonna use my press. So I have it preheating and I have two slices of brioche bread, just a nice kind of thick sliced brioche. And to save some calories, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil spray on the toast instead of dousing it, you know, with a lot of olive oil, okay? Okay, so we'll just let that go. Okay, so I washed my tomatoes and I'm just going to core them by taking a small paring knife and going around the center. See, I got that nice, that core right out. Okay, and I'll do the same thing for this yellow one. that okay so now I'll take my serrated knife and we're just look at how beautiful that is oh my god gorgeous I love tomatoes so much okay so we're just gonna chop this up you can do it any way you like you can make chunks you can make slices it all will taste the same let's put that in the bowl look at that parks how beautiful is that I'm hungry you're hungry okay already good. I'm hungry And you can make the tomato mixture, um, you know, a day in advance. It'll be even better once it sits. Okay. And I lo oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. Sexy. Sexy tomato. Okay. Can't wait for summer. We grow our tomatoes in the garden. All different varieties. Okay, great. So we got that, let me get rid of this board. Okay, so to that, let me just check this bread. Woo, that was quick. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing you checked that. I could smell it. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about wow. cooking. You really, you know, you can smell what's happening. You can hear, you can smell. And that, that really helps indicate when things are cooking, when they're done, you know, when you smell the cookies in the oven, you know they're, they're close to ready. Okay, so what I like to do is I'm just cutting a piece of garlic in half and I'm gonna rub it on this toast. Hmm. And that's just gonna give a nice like scent, subtle flavor of garlic on there. And using that panini press, I love making sandwiches in there. It's amazing. And I just love the lines that it makes. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's it. I did that with the garlic. And then to the tomatoes, I wanna add some extra virgin olive oil, maybe about one and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna add some, cr uh, some fresh ground black pepper. I mean, this is so simple. You guys know how to do this, but sometimes you need to be reminded of like the simple things. Okay. I'm using some Malden sea salt, which is that beautiful flaky salt. I love it. It adds a nice crunch. It elevates the flavor of everything. And then I'm gonna chiffonade some basil. And chiffonade, um, chiffonading basil is basically just layering the basil, taking the stems off, layering it like that, like a deck of cards. And then you roll it up into a cigar. And then you take your knife and you gently work your way through it. And you wanna be gentle with basil because it turns black if you really smash it up with a knife. So we're gonna be a little bit Gentle with that, look how beautiful that is. Okay, so we'll add most of it to here. I 
and you could add, you know, fresh mozzarella to this. You could add burrata. You could add feta cheese, goat cheese. All of that would be really lovely. Okay, so now. not look appetizing oh my god so and what i like to do to finish it is i love this balsamic reduction you can buy it in your supermarket and i just do like a little drizzle on top what do you think parks i think it looks delicious it looks delicious yeah and you can you know make a smaller piece of bread so it's a little bit more bite size you know, but it's just us, so we, we can be a little more sloppy with it. I'm going to take a bite of this one. Okay, let's see. Mm. <laughs> that looks delicious. Mm. It's so good. Sorry if I had food in my face. So good, you guys. You can do it. Meatless Monday. <laughs> See you later.